Hello, as part of our participation in Rhode Island Civic Learning Week 2023, Rhode Island's Commission for National and Community Service, named Servari, has recorded this video to introduce educators and families to ways in which service learning can be used to facilitate global citizenship education. This is the third of three videos in our series, and we hope that ideas and examples shared in this presentation will help you think about how service learning and global citizenship education can benefit your school or youth organization. While there is no universal definition of global citizenship education, we've selected to share the, the definition um, put out by the United Nations, um, Global Citizenship Education is UNESCO's response to global challenges of human rights violations, inequality, and poverty. And they define global citizenship education as providing the understanding, skills, and values students need to cooperate in resolving the interconnected challenges of the 21st century, including climate change, conflict, poverty, hunger, and issues of equity and sustainability. These same educational outcomes prepare students to be successful in the workplace of the 21st century as well. Education for global citizenship helps young people develop the core competencies which allow them to actively engage with the world and help to make it a more just and sustainable place. It is a form of civic learning that involves students' active participation, in projects that address global issues of a social, political, economic, or environmental nature. My name is Mary Ellen Lynch, and I am a Prepare RI Ambassador for Youth Service with the Rhode Island Department of Education. So at the end of this module, we hope that participants will learn how service learning can be an effective pedagogy for facilitating global citizenship education. We'll be able to identify strategies to integrate global citizenship education into K through 12 curriculum to help students enhance intercultural skills, critical and creative thinking and civic engagement. And we'll understand how to apply global citizenship education frameworks to foster collaboration with community organizations. So we define service learning as a program or project which combines community service with an outside organization with a structured opportunity for reflection about that service emphasizing the connections between service experiences and academic learning. While there is no universal definition for service learning, what remains constant is that service learning is an approach to teaching and learning that is student-led and fosters the application of academic learning to address community challenges in collaboration with a partner organization. Service learning frameworks and distinctions between other teaching strategies will be discussed later in this presentation. So as you can see here on the slide, um, global citizenship education and service learning share many of the same benefits. Uh, for example, um, both approaches provide opportunities for experiential learning and for students to really be a part of developing solutions that address community challenges. There are many different frameworks for teaching global citizenship education. Um, on the slide, we have featured uh, Asia Society's four domains of global competence, um, and we'll expand on this framework um, later in the presentation. And while there's other global citizenship education frameworks um, put out by organizations such as Oxfam International, they all share core concepts um, of really helping to prepare students to appreciate multiple perspectives, um, communicate effectively, um, active um, develop skills of active listening and critical and creative thinking.
Global citizenship education fosters social emotional learning by helping students develop a sense of belonging to a common humanity, identify shared values, build empathy and respect differences, which aligns with RIDE's five anchor standards of social emotional learning. The Sustainable Development Goals are a collection of 17 interlinked global goals designed to be a blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all and part of the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. They were agreed by 193 countries in September 2015. Each of the 17 goals strive for the universal reduction of climate change and poverty and the improvement of education, health, and economic growth. United Nations describes the SDGs as seeking to protect the planet and improve the lives and prospects of everyone everywhere. The Sustainable Development Goals provide global guidance for addressing each of these goals and serve as a roadmap for helping students explore local issues in a global context. Emphasis is placed on helping students understand how challenges within the Sustainable Development Goals are global challenges faced by most communities most countries and need to be addressed by working as one global community. Um, the sustainable development goals um, can also be used as an effective teaching tool across disciplines. And we also want to point out that UNESCO monitors efforts to achieve target 4.7, um, which is included in SDG 4, quality education, to promote global citizenship education specifically in, in an effort to ensure that all young people, regardless of background, are prepared for meaningful work in the global economy and are prepared to take part in addressing global challenges that impact their lives and communities. This is National Youth Leadership Council's four-stage process for service learning that serves as a model for quality service learning practice. According to National Youth Leadership Council, this four stage process reflects the critical role of educators in framing the experience and rooting it in student outcomes. It also highlights leadership roles for young people as they become civic actors in their communities. I, the IPARD framework, which is included in stage three, can be an effective framework for facilitating global citizenship education. According to National Youth Leadership Council, the student experience becomes central in stage three, um, which again is also known as IPARD, um, for youth-led investigation, planning and preparation, action, reflection, and demonstration of learning. As the diagram illustrates, the experience doesn't begin with the act of service, nor does it end with the completion of the service activity. Every part of the process is rich with learning and growth opportunities, many of them happening as students investigate community needs, identify a doable action, plan and carry out service activities, reflect throughout the process, and share their learnings with the larger community. Even when the action seems complete, the transformation power of the process continues as students, teachers, and communities grow and new needs arise. Here are some examples of learning activities that integrate components of global citizenship education. So for example, classroom exchanges are an opportunity for students to engage across borders via synchronous communication channels, such as video conferencing. iEARN is an online learning platform um, that offers teachers and students meaningful ways to connect and learn with peers. Um, through the fostering of online collaboration. Uh, cultivating community partnerships. Um, if uh, engaging across borders uh, virtually or in person is not um, a possibility, um, there is opportunities to collaborate with local cultural groups um, to foster cross-cultural learning um, and community engagement. And then as mentioned earlier, the Sustainable Development Goals can really be a great teaching tool to help students use the SDGs across disciplines 
as a roadmap to explore local issues in a global context. Here's an example of a project that integrated global citizenship education with high school students taking a college course with Roger Williams University, University College in Providence, Rhode Island. Um, so you can see here this project that students engaged in were linked directly to the Sustainable Development Goals 1 and 4. Um, so that has been an effective uh, technique to link projects with specific um, sustainable development goals um, in which students examine root causes um, and then develop solutions to address those challenges. In this project, students uh, collaborated with organizations throughout Rhode Island to collect donations of school supplies, um, to give to the organizations to provide students across Rhode Island. Um, and as you can see here in the student testimonial, the student shares how um, in engaging in this project inspired her efforts um, to organize this donation drive. So global citizenship education can be an effective um, teaching tool to really um, help inspire students to really develop an urge to respond to issues that impact their communities. Here's another project facilitated with uh, high school students duly enrolled in a college course at the Roger Williams University, University College. Um, and again, their project was linked to these three sustainable development goals listed here on the slide. Um, and they partnered with different uh, organizations across the states to help address issues of homelessness in Rhode Island. Um, and uh, one student shared in the testimonial featured on the slide um, that ideas from this class and by engaging in global sense of education it inspired her to, after the class, continue being engaged with her community um, by creating a club at her school. Here's another testimonial uh, by Casey Estevez. Um, who at the time was a student at Juanita Sanchez Educational Complex in Providence, Rhode Island. Um, Casey reflects here on how ideas learned from a partnership with Generation Citizen while she was a student at Juanita Sanchez, empowered her class to put ideas into action to create JSEG Goods, which is a food pantry aimed at addressing food insecurity at Juanita Sanchez High School. So, uh, this is an example, as Casey mentions in her testimonial, um, of how uh, facilitating um, global students of education and service learning can really be effective ways to help students develop skills of leadership, collaboration, and critical thinking. So Rhode Island's vision for student success is very much aligned with service learning and global citizenship education. As RIDE creates opportunities for students to think critically and collaboratively, helping them to develop globally competent learners. This is three of three recorded presentations in 2023. If you're interested in accessing service learning and global citizenship education resources, please visit www.serverhodeisland.com slash youth service. And we invite you to explore some of the resources provided here on the slide, organizations such as Asia Society Center for Global Education, Oxfam International, the Global Goals, We Make Change, and World Savvy are really wonderful resources to access um, resources on global citizenship education. Thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed the presentation. Have a great day.